Welcome to Voyager LCAR's menu system. Captain Catherine Janeway. Commander Chakote. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok. Lieutenant Belana Torres. Ensign Tom Paris. Ensign Harry Kim. Emergency Medical Hologram. Seven of Nine. Neelix. Lieutenant Les Foster. Ensign Alexander Monroe. Crewman Austin Chang. Crewman Rick Beesman. Crewman Telsia Murphy. Crewman Chell. Crewman Juliet Girat. Crewman Perfecto Oviedo. Crewman Ken Lathrop. Crewman Tom O'Dell. Crewman Mitch Satlos. Crewman Michael Jaworski. Crewman Jeffrey Nelson. Crewman Elizabeth Laird. Ensign Monroe, the purpose of this training course is to familiarize you with the basic maneuvers and strategies you will need as a member of the hazard team. On away missions, you will be required to know instinctively exactly what to do in various situations. First, you should warm up. Walk or run around the room a few times. Practice maneuverability. Your hazard suit is designed for ease of movement while affording you a significant amount of personal protection. These suits are armored and outfitted with a medical system powered by a small belt-mounted energy pack. This pack has a universal power collector which can accept most types of power as energy. It was designed for maximum flexibility in the field. Now let's try some basic movement maneuvers. We will start with a simple ladder. First, approach the ladder. Then, look up the ladder while walking forward to climb. You now need to jump on, over, and around these obstacles to get out of the pit. Very good, Ensign. Approach the Jeffreys tube maintenance shaft, then crouch to crawl inside it. Now, crouch walk to the end of the shaft. You will encounter life-threatening environments and situations. On your tactical eye display, or TED, you will notice the orange bar and numbers in the lower left of your view. These monitor your suit's health energy. When you are injured, this energy is used by the anabolic protoplasmers and dermal regenerators strewn throughout the inside of your suit. When this energy runs out, you cannot be healed, and you will die. The small blue bar and the numbers under the health bar are your armor energy. The ablative armor patches will take the brunt of most damage inflicted upon you. However, once the armor is depleted, you will take more damage and your health energy will drain very quickly. Your suit will protect you, but the energy for the health and armor systems will eventually drain and will need to be replenished. Jump across these rocks to get to the other side of the lava pit without losing too much health and armor power. In the cave is an alien power terminal that your suit can convert into health and armor energy. Your TED has been programmed to scan and identify usable power terminals in many alien configurations. Approach the terminal and use it to transfer energy into your suit. Your suit's medical system is recharging while nanites are regenerating your armor. You will now have to use all of the skills you have just learned to get through this next area. Beware of enemies and dodge their fire.
are now equipped with a standard Federation phaser compression rifle. On the lower right of your view is the weapon energy indicator. All Federation weapons use an energy pack in your suit to supply ammunition to the weapons. All weapons have an alternate firing mode activated by the second trigger. Your rifle, for instance, has a sniper mode that is silent and much more powerful. It is most effective when used with your TED's enhanced zoom. Your TED has a built-in magnification feature. Use the zoom in command to get a closer look at an object or area. This can aid you in acquiring additional information or in more precisely targeting your weapons. Here you will use your weapon to shoot targets again. Weapon energy is a different type of energy than that of the health and armor energy. However, it too can be found in the terminals throughout alien vessels. Your TED is programmed to identify these as well. Approach the terminal and recharge your rifle's energy. This next exercise is a simulated firefight. Your primary objective is to eliminate all Herogen enemies. You will need to use your rifle and recharge it, utilizing energy terminals like the one you just used. When you receive a new mission objective, it will be uploaded to your TED and can be read with the info command. Note the tactical information. This data is designed to aid in your survival and assist you in achieving your objectives. Your simulated mission begins now. you have just acquired an alien weapon. Note that your TED ammo display has changed color. This is because the weapon uses dilithium crystal shards as a power source. These power crystals are used by most alien races and can be found on alien vessels. Collect the crystals to power the weapons. Your TED has been programmed to recognize and measure this power source. Congratulations, Ensign. You have successfully completed the Hazard Team training course. Welcome to Voyager LCAR's menu system. On Stardate 48315.6, the USS Voyager was transported beyond our control. 70,000 light years across the galaxy to the Delta Quadrant. There, without aid from Starfleet, we began our 70-year journey home. In our numerous encounters, we came into contact with many dangerous and violent species. Having a limited crew with no chance of reinforcements, we determined that we needed a specialized team to handle the more dangerous situations. Tuvok, Voyager's chief of security, assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Ensign Monroe is second in command of this uniquely trained team. Equipped with Seven of Nine's experimental anti-Borg weapon, the Infinity Modulator, the Hazard Team has beamed to a Borg cube on a dangerous mission. However, the team was quickly overwhelmed and the iMod is now in the hands of the Borg. Separated from the rest, Monroe is attempting to rescue the team. Rescue them at any cost. 
acknowledged. Tertiary what? Henson, I've uploaded your mission objectives and tactical information. Review it now before proceeding. It's on the table. back to the ship.
field? I don't see a disc note here. Hmm. Must have a special power source. If I had an eye mod, but uh, what say I stay here and hold down the fort?
Monroe to Voyager. I've located the hazard team. They're trapped behind some sort of force field. Acknowledged, Ensign. See if you can locate the control console for the force field. supposed to do. Mr. Monroe, your tactical approach was, shall we say, tactless. All right, hazard team, report to debriefing. Nice going, Monroe. Sir, if I may. How was I supposed to know the panel would explode? That point is not relevant, Mr. Monroe. A given situation is not as predictable as you might desire. Your reckless decision has caused the death of you and your teammates. You have failed. Had you followed standard hazard team procedures, you may have survived the simulation and achieved your mission objectives. Yes, sir. Procedure. Speak freely, Ensign. Deck four. With all due respect, sir, I don't think procedure would have mattered. There wasn't any way I could have possibly rescued them. Someday, Mr. Monroe, you may be called upon to do the impossible. Consider this to be your personal Kobayashi Maru. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Computer. Reroute turbo lift to the bridge. <laughs> 